Today I'm going to show you how you can boost the performance of white vinegar or acetic acid which is the active component in white vinegar in terms of rust removal by electrolysis. But the first fundamental thing that we need to talk about is how this actually works. And there's a lot of misunderstandings out on YouTube but you need two conductive elements inside your solution. So what you see here on the bottom, that's our positive side which is connected to the red cable in the battery charger. The battery charger here is set to it's a 9 ampere delivery and that's 12 volts and then we have the black wire which is the negative side and it's connected to our railway nail. So if I have this set up, it's a couple of tablespoons of just regular table salt in here. Now some people say that you have to worry about that you have chloride gas as a bi-component coming off when you do electrolysis with this but that's not much of a worry because then you can't go to a regular swimming pool because you will have a little bit of chloride gas in the air there as well which you can smell. So we have a couple of spoons of this into 7 liters of water and then we have added a tiny amount of acetic acid and as you can see here if I zoom in on this railway nail there's a couple of bubbles there but nothing is happening. So it's a slightly acidic solution which has salt in it so it's an electrolyte but nothing is happening and well of course we haven't connected electricity yet so here goes the plug-in now I will try to zoom in Still nothing happening. 12 volts, 9 amperes, and no bubbles. Well, is my solution not enough acidic? Is the white vinegar not doing its job? No. The explanation to this is that nothing is happening because our conductor is wrapped around the railway nail on top of the rust and rust is not conducting any considerable electricity so we don't see an effect so if you look one centimeter down along the railway nail I've removed some of the rust there filing it down so what will happen if I move the conductor from there to there give me a second I will do that plug is out I'm just going to move this down here now. Now you can see it's lying on the area where I filed off. So now we should be able to conduct electricity into the iron inside underneath the rust so that we get an electrified nail. Let's plug it back in again. Sorry for the shaking. I'll hold it more steady now. You can see. Now it's lying on the area where we should be able to conduct electricity into the railway nail. Let's go down and have a look. See? It's a significant difference. Now the electrolysis is working and we are removing rust. Thanks for listening. I hope this clarified something about electrolysis and good luck with your own experiment. Well, hang on. Uh, I forgot to show you the end results. Now this reaction has been running for about one and a half hour or actually more like one hour. And uh, I'm gonna quit this now by turning off the electricity and I will show you the end results of what happens here when we're using 0.7 volume percent of acetic acid that's like one fifth of what you have in a regular white vinegar solution that you buy in the shopping mall so I'm only using here one fifth of the concentration of acid that you get from your white vinegar and you can see it's a uh, almost like smoking but that's actually bubbles and what happens with time is that the more rust you remove 
the better conductor the well, railway nail becomes in the solution, so the more bubbles can form, and this is hydrogen gas is coming off here, and uh, it's a uh, looks a lot. It's actually a tiny amount. I'm zoomed in now, and uh, it definitely is removing rust. So we we'll bring it up, and I'll show you. Now I'm unplugging it. I'm holding so you see how much difference it makes. Actually, what I'm going to do. Since this is a conductor now, I'm just going to move the little thing that we have here, up here, this one, is giving electricity to the nail, I'm going to move it up on the rusty section, everything stops. Now you can also see now that rust actually do conduct a little bit of electricity, but make sure it's all on the rust section but it's almost nothing and now it's down again on the conducting area and you see how the reaction starts again so I'm bringing it up now and to show you what it looks like and uh, I'm just gonna unwrap this get it off here and I will take this over to the sink and I would wash it off with reg regular detergent. So I'm just using regular tap water here, a little bit of detergent. And since the solution we had was very, very, well, it was almost neutral, it actually had a pH of 4. These high chemicals, the acetic acid at this low concentration, one fifth of what you have in uh, what vinegar it's not harmful for your skin it's just rust coming off my fingers so there we go just a second hold on and we will wipe it clean and dry now there's no nothing coming off here anymore and here you can see the result as you can see most of the rust has been removed here we actually see the iron coming out and this is the transition region which was above the surface up here and this is the area where I polished it now for a comparison I just got this one here this is the one that was treated in acetic acid with 30 times higher concentration of acetic acid and uh, in my previous video you can see that when I compare different acid strength so this was the weakest acid I could find among the acids I tested but it was 30 times higher concentration for treating this one without electrolysis as compared to this one and if you look at this one this was one hour in uh, the acid bath and practically none of the rust came off whereas when I add the electrolysis as a source to assist in the rust removal then I needed only one third of the concentration and we got this result so in the next video I will show you now if you click on the end screen uh, uh, how I set up the electrolysis path